stay in my tone You can't step to my throne They ain't working like me I did this on my own You asking where we been, huh? I don't know where to begin, huh? All this dirt on my skin I just came here to win I'm more than a man, I'm a monster Somebody call the pastor, doctor so now that we've seen all the crazy cars in this garage, it's time to meet the crazy man behind it all. His name is the Gear Collector. Hello! <laughs> How's it going? Hello, hello sexy. <laughs> and how's it going? I would have expected you to come in something a little bit more crazy than that. Of course, I love this car. I love it so much. I drive it so often in summer. Obviously, you are the mastermind that chose all the cars um, and got them into this garage. Give us a little tour of what there is in your garage. Of course, we can, we can go through the cars. I mean, this is an old classic Guldner tractor. I think in the in a collection, a tractor is, has to be there, you know? Yeah, yeah. But this is a little bit faster than the tractor. It's yeah, it's a, it's a Formula 3 car. I used to race it uh, some years ago, but now mostly I take this one on the racetrack. I'm more like a GT3 car guy, you know? So that's why I prefer this one. You know where I recognize this car right now because you kindly invited us to the Gear Collector race day, which by the way, we did uh, make a video upon. You can click on the right top hand side of the screen and have a look at that. And there was a lady driving this car. It was Sophia Fleur. She, she was racing uh, in Formula 3, so she's a professional race so, so driver. Another, uh, um, but it's a nice thing. I love the of fact course, that of course. women are in the scenery nowadays when it comes to powerful Definitely. cars. Here we've got SV, SVJ. SVJ Roadster uh, in a nice matte black paint. Uh, Lovely with the carbon fiber accents and I love the red lines. It makes it look so aggressive. With the Novitec exhaust system, it, it changed the car complete. Yeah. This is a special car for me. Uh, when we started the uh, Supercar Diary series, one of the first two cars we filmed was our Novitec Senna. There's a bit of a story about this car, right? The car burned down uh, two years ago mm -hmm. by the Formula One race at Red Bull Circuit. It was just okay. like 20 minutes before the official F1 start. Um, I wasn't driving the car, I wasn't even sitting in the car, it was Gerhard Berger um, driving, but now it's, it's back, it's, it's even in a better shape than ever before, we have now the gloss carbon and I just love the car, it's for me still the best car on the racetrack. The party continues over here, this of course is equally special in its own way, what do we got? It's uh, the McLaren P1. Just uh, 375 cars built of this one. Yeah. A lot of people always ask me, which car would you choose here in the garage? I, will, I can never answer you this question because every car is so different, you know? Yeah. Every car has a different character. But this one, the, the look and everything is so perfect. And you have a lot of Formula One inside with the iPass DRS, you know, it's just one of my favorite cars, I would, I would say. This car, we all know already, it's a super famous one, the uh, F40. And this car equally was on the uh, Red Bull Racer. Correct, the day. correct, correct. This one is the LT Spider. Okay. And this one is like my favorite car when it comes to road trips. Why? Because it's brutal fast. You have quite a lot of luggage space in the front. And also, if you, if you drive normal, you need around nine to 10 liters by 100 kilometers. With the Senna, it's like after four laps, Red Bull circuit, the fuel tank is empty. Here you've got, is it a Black Series? C63 Black Series. I can't tell you too much about it, but it's actually just one of one. One of one. Yes. I would love to dig into 
all the reasons for these cars a bit more but i think our film is just going to get too long if you guys think that it would be very exciting to do a longer version of this film and really get michi or the gear collector to dive into those details then give us some comments down below maybe we can do another collaborative project but let's move on as we roadster as we roadster it's just a diff different paint yeah <laughs> Another McLaren 765. Is it also just that, another color? That's no, that's the coupe version. This is the M3 GTS, just 135 cars built, and it's built for the racetrack. That's the younger brother, so yeah. that's the M4 GTS. I love the color. Yes, on the this. paint. It just a, looks so brutal, and then this. So this is like a bronze orange. Yeah, the, so that's actually the front spoiler, and for the for the racetrack, you can take this out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this this sort of comes yes, more forward. Yes. Yeah. So for the street, you take it, you put it you, in, you and like this, it's for the racetrack. Oh, great. And BMW Isetta. Yes. They, they drive around with that. Correct. Then the James Bond car, BMW Z8. Okay. This one is actually the ra the rarest car here in the collection. What? It's just 67 cars of this, and it's based on the GTS. It's the M3 CRT, mm -hmm. special paint just for this car. Actually, I'm usually not allowed to tell you this, but this one was faster on the Nordschleife than the M3 GTS. Just by the way, you never heard this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> of an iconic car, yes. but it's not just this one that's iconic, it's also that. Yes. So tell us about this Mercedes corner. SLR 722, so it's more uh, based on for the racetrack just 150 cars built of this one and yeah some years later SLR Sterling Moss there was the legendary uh, Sterling Moss yeah. you know many years ago and then Mercedes and McLaren had this collaboration and they built uh, the SLR Sterling Moss so just 75 cars of this or it's more just 74 cars because actually one car got stolen and then they burned it down on the field because they recognized, oh shit, we cannot really sell the car. <laughs> You've got two Porsches over here. This is, this is not a new car. This is just a new it's wrap. A, yes, it's a new design. Do you it's, know what? Brilliant job. You this like has it? Got, I, I can't tell you, no, like is an understatement. This is so beautiful. So. Our friend that also takes pictures uh, for us, Chris Caleb, um, have a look on his Instagram. He took the most unbelievable pictures in here. And this is definitely one of my favorite cars. What have we got here? It's just three cars in the world of this one with this paint. It's a special, special PTS paint. Yeah. Some motorbikes. Quickly brush over this. You you don't race motorbikes. Do you rate motorbikes? Um, no, no, not oh, really. Okay. Not really. So just a collection. There's a quad. That, yes. That I could drive that. We've got uh, two very classic cars with the tractor. Probably some of the oldest cars and with the uh, Fiat 500. Beautiful, beautiful looking. Ones. Are they? They're not exactly the same, right? Um, well, what? It, it's it's a different paint, but this one is actually one of 20 cars which was racing at the Nordschleife. So the history is even bigger of this one than the, than the wide one. Amazing. It's just so crazy, this uh, garage. We've seen this on Instagram and on some YouTube videos, but I never imagined how big this was. Yes. And the lighting in here just works wonderfully on the cars. Anyways, we're gonna get going. Um, Michi, obviously I didn't just come here to tickle your fancy in your own garage. We are going to go out for a drive. The weather is atrocious. It's yeah, terrible. It's, a, it's, it's freezing a bit snowing. cold. So we're probably not going to take out any of these cars. And in order to see what we're going to take out, stay tuned. daily driver what is it it's the e63s uh, the edition one what does that mean edition one edition one it's like they built this version 
just one year. Mm -hmm. yeah. There isn't any other car at the moment which gives me this full package than this because you can drive it very comfortable as we're doing it for now in comfort mode and then you have to you have the sport sport plus mode race mode and then you have the drift mode which means what? yes which means you can have all the power on the rear axle okay so this is an all-wheel drive car this is an all-wheel drive car correct okay. correct and in this car we have almost 1200 newton meters uh, oh. Oh yes, a four liter, uh, four liter twin turbo charge. Uh, by by turbo, yes, uh, V8, correct. And um, horsepower? Uh, stock 612, and this one it's uh, around 840. Zero to 100 in uh, 2.8 seconds. No way, in an E class. Yeah. Hey, Salzburg A8, everything's on temp. Holy mama, mama, mama. Sack of nuts. Oh. Are you good? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> and you don't feel the speed. You don't really feel the speed. I no, mean, no. I'm looking over there and I'm going, okay, that's I mean, fast. But I, was, I was doing over 350 once and in this car? It's in this car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot. It just spun all four wheels at 183 yes, kilometers per correct. hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not think that this was going to be so much fun. The steering wheel looks so incredibly yeah. crazy. Looks like from an F1 car. It's, uh, it's also it's also not stock. Um, it's everything handmade, full carbon no. with the Alcantara. Did you have that done afterwards? Yes, or? afterwards, and it, it also got the LEDs. Yeah, and it shows. Um, you. And it shows you all the temperatures and everything. So yeah. What happens that? causes you to buy another car what's the process well first of all most important is if I like the car we really collect it so does it fit to the collection but of course you appreciate it if you buy something limited mm. and it appreciates in the price I love the fact that you take them out of and course. you drive them for this car uh, b uh, cars getting built for this to properly drive them you yes. know yeah. sometimes I just prefer to sit in the car without any camera and yeah. just enjoy driving you know okay i mean i'm sharing a lot on my channel yes but sometimes you just sit in a car yeah. and you just drive you know okay. and don't think about anything else yeah people they they are asking like if i could talk a little bit more in front of the camera but yeah. as you know i'm i'm not showing myself because for me it's just uh, sharing my passion to yeah. to cars and uh, like this i don't want to show myself you know what michi i respect the fact you say you know what when i drive